adapt everything that he sees because of the experience he gained from a year ago and the success, especially against Ohio State and then Stanford in the Rose Bowl. High formation handoff to Jeremy Langford, the feature back for the Spartans. Ohio State strings it out, but Langford to Mumphrey. From the 19, Langford takes his way for also running, actually. They thought they had him stop. Very tough on an Ohio State defense to try to lock in on one area. Five receivers, empty backfield. Unusual look, and Connor Cook almost fell backwards. Try to keep his balance. Langford makes the catch. The rule income. Cook rolling. Rolling short. Has a man open. First down. Still running into the end zone. Touchdown. Senior year so far, that's his plan anyway. Lane for the first down carry. Setter step gets the edge and sprints out to the 40. Opponents try to pressure in that way. It was a handoff. A motion. McGarrett King's a receiver into the backfield. A flag. The game they played up to this point, other than maybe the Oregon game early in the year. Right tackle Bugs from Cincinnati. On second down, Cook has good protection, delivers a strike, now incomplete. Tony Lippett, the top receiver for Michigan State, all over the field, whether he's to the left or the right. He's to the left this time, Kirk, top of the formation, number 14 in green. Cook has protection, fires a strike. Chase. A month from tomorrow, the final bracket is revealed. So Spartans are backed up as the Buckeyes down the punt. And then Langford. He's trying to get yet another. Finally fumbled and the game was over. This stadium went crazy as if the Spartans had just scored a touchdown. It's a function of the new era, isn't it? See you in oh, Kansas yeah. State and Oregon and everybody it's cool. now. It's great. Inside of a minute in the first quarter on third and eight. Good. Gets good protection. Delivers, but it's dropped. Just the opposite for him. He said it gave me more confidence, made me want to work harder. Well, thanks. So that was interesting to hear that become that guy. He is living a dream, and he doesn't take it for granted. On third and three, quarterback keeps it. He takes a big shot, but it's six four. Ohio State has Duran Grant following Tony Lippett all over this field. On the delay, the handoff, but swarmed in the backfield is Nick Hill. Hill is still in the game, but Cook's dropping straight back. Pressure throws as he hits, but complete underneath Josiah Price. And at the Buckeyes, 46. It's Nick Hill, and a quick snap, and the Spartans Cook move the chain. Following him all over the field when he is in the game. Now in the game, Delton Williams, the sophomore tailback, his first carry of the night. He falls forward for a nice game. Still in the game. Langford is back. He motions out to the right side. They hand it again to the physical young back who just hammers. Better cut the Ohio State defensive line like that. First down. This is Williams again. Delton Williams just hammering through Ohio. Just hang on to a foot there and make that tackle. Seven yards on first down. The motion Shelton hammered head short and it does not look like a true freshman does he no, not at 240 all. pounds Langford back in the game it's an option look Cook fakes it picks his way dives for a first down but again three first down rushes for him still got it fires near side complete Shelton and it's a dodge attack we're explosive on the passing game to offset the pressure on their running game Connor Cook keeps it again Kind of pinballs down inside the five. Still running. Quarterback muscling down. Subs as the Buckeyes bring in fresh troops for that line on second and goal. Langford barrels into the end zone. Cook. A first down throw. Delivers over the middle into traffic. It didn't look quite right. Doesn't have a catch tonight. He is the dominant weapon typically for Cook. Handed off inside. This is Kings and the receiver. Mumphrey motions in. They hand it coming back this way to Langford. First down. And touchdown. Your corners better hold up on an island. And right now, Darian Hicks is becoming an issue for Pat Narduzzi's defense. Langford, a little stutter step. Speaking of... Break. Another throw. It's a screen batted down. Getting the big hand up around. Him. 
Buckeyes show pressure on second and ten. Cook steps up, delivers over the middle, incomplete to set up third and ten. Father played at Michigan yep. State as well. Ted Jones, a wide receiver yeah. for the Big Green. Buckeyes seem to come across the line. A free play, fired incomplete. And they like to bring it with Darren Lee. Third and medium hasn't been a real good situation for the Spartans offense, surprisingly. Cook in the pocket delivers. A lot of that here in this first half from JT Barrett. Langford spins ahead. Of course, they have that narrow head-to-head -head win over TCU. Langford breaks free, has a first down out to the 28. TCU, but as DeBear just whispers in my ear, the non-conference scheduling that Baylor has opted for could come back to backfire on him. Langford breaks free, out near a first down. Ohio State's three defenders have moved up to the 25-yard line, no longer waiting at the goal line. As Cook steps up, delivers, and throws it. Defensive line. Langford takes it. He wore down. Guys, Michigan State's Tony Lippett. I talked to their head athletic trainer, Sally Noble. He is good to go in the second half. Well, he on cue makes a catch. Muscles out of the Long, hot days in the summer, throwing and catching again and again. Langford spins. Still running. Hard charging back. Still alive. Gains a It's game that Langford has gone over 100 yards. And hand it to him again. Hit in the backfield. Ball comes out. Scramble for it. And Michigan. Ohio State, one of their defenders, it might have been Tyvis Powell, tried to pick it up and scoop and score instead of just jumping on the football. It's out. 23 comes in here late and tries to scoop and score instead of just pouncing on it. Left the ball on the ground, and the big center saw the ball, looked up, and just secured it. But Tyvis Powell had a chance to jump on top of it right there. It was Washington who forced the fall. Pressure. In the pocket, he delivers. Strike, caught, first down. Pass the blitz to his receivers. First catch for Burbridge. Cook still got it. Delivers in traffic, another strike. Pocket two, got to hurry, they get it off. And on first and 20, high delivery, almost intercepted. A linebacker McMillan who blitzed, and there was nobody left in the middle, good throw. Langford here. No game. Let's face it, he got very lucky. That flow, find that zone again. Lip it to the bottom of the screen, the left of Cook, empty backfield. Now they motion Shelton in and give it to him. Heavy traffic drives for a bound this time. Cook in the pocket, delivers. Incomplete. No. It's November. You got a little snow here in Big Ten country. Langford on a first down run. The playbook and getting away from what they're trying to do by still having some balance with the run in the pass. Langford breaks free. Langford has the corner. Midfield knocked out at the 41-yard line. He's going to get some big yards. Cook drops back. Pressure. Spins away and now he's... The Buckeyes have two sacks. Against an offensive line that's given up only five all year coming in. Second and 16, Cook delivers near side, a strike, catch made. Quarterback, do they sit back with an 11-point lead or do they bring pressure? Again, the Spartans in one of those third and medium situations has given him trouble this year. Cook rolls out and, again, just misfired. Desperate to cut into this lead. It's Mumphrey in motion. Handoff on the reverse. Hill, not going to get there. He posted the Ducks, of course, in playoff position based on this week's rankings. Serious urgency now for Connor Cook to deliver to Lippitt. Stop. You've got to work with that clock and also at the same time move the ball down the field. Another throw, far side, catch made, spinning four of first down. Cook fires, far side. Patient completion here in Burbage, Ohio State. The completion limit. Top 10 type of team in their stadium. Very, very impressive if they're able to hold on here. Power formation for Langford and third and one.
But it's the entire body of work. And look what Ohio State's done against inferior opponents. They've blown them out. Cook throws it back far side. Catch made by Price, the tight end, has a block or two. Hopes alive here. Two and a half minutes so far. They've marched at 59 yards. On the first down, Cook fires to the end zone. Has a man wide open. And Price. Ohio State came in with a plan, and they've executed. Cook has time, fires down the middle, and just over that. They're into the bargain as well. Third and ten, they bring four. Cook fires over the middle, complete. State continues to play very well as an underdog. Again. His team yes. to play with a chip on their shoulder. Sometimes he invents reasons <laughs> to get it fired up, and other times. Oh, Cook threw it. And it's and second and ten. Cook stays up, delivers into traffic. Catch made. First down of the. 48 receiving yards on his four catches so far. Cook steps up, flips it short. Flag is down. Has always seemed to give Cook time to be able to make throws. And tonight, again, I think they've lost the battle for the most part up front. Not a big deal. Cook delivers. Kings retreats. Still alive. Fighting. Garrett King on his feet down near the goal. It's out there. And it like a couple of Ohio State defenders thought he might have been down, and he just kept going. Langford cuts it back, barrels into the end zone. Point game. Interesting decision. Batted down. If you just kick the point, then a touchdown. City and him early for this game. Cook the price, and they pitch it off. <laughs> he pitches it off again and land. They needed to break some tendencies and some uncharacteristic mistakes from the Spartans today for sure. With Meyer there, 154 yards for the tailback and two touchdowns. Cook delivers. It's across the 40 for a first down.